In this video, we're going to look how to key out a video that is shot in front of a green screen using Spectromat here in Avid Media Composer. Okay, so we have our shot here. I've already marked an in and an out on our clip here. It's a rather long clip. All right, so I've got the part marked that I want to put in my timeline. And just a quick word about your green screen. Uh, you know, this is not a great setup. This would be sort of a consumer setup right here. You can see we have some wrinkles in our green screen that we really should have gotten out of there. You'll really save yourself a lot of time in the production part. If you take extra time to make sure your shot is correct, for example, right down here, we're actually shooting past the green screen, so we might have to enlarge it a little bit. Lighting definitely could have been better here, but something like this is probably what you'll be dealing with on, on a consumer level most of the time. And it actually works out pretty well here in Avid Media Composer. All right, so we have our clip, it's marked. Do we go ahead and import this now? Well, we can because we want to key it out. But when we key something out, we basically make it transparent. We make all this green part transparent. So what you might want to do, instead of keying it out right here, which we'll just do this real quick, let's just grab our color there. Let's grab it again. Go to a green here. And see, now we're on black, but how well does that help us? You may want to start your key like this and start adjusting things. Enter softness up. You know, things like this you kind of have to play around with a little bit depending on the shot. And, uh, you know, you have a spectrograph here that you can use as well. But maybe it would be a better idea. Let me go ahead and delete that effect. Instead of structuring it like that, first let me find what I want to lay underneath it. And that's this clip right here. I think this will work all right. So let's go ahead and put this on video one. And I'll hit control Y. I'm on Windows. All right. We'll add a new video track. Now we'll go ahead and grab our clip that we wanted. And we'll put that on top of our other video clip that we want to be behind us for the background because that's how keying works, right? Okay, so now let's go ahead and start the key. We're here in the effects. Go to key. Here's our spectrum mat. Drop it right on top of our green screen effect here. Go into effects mode. We have our key color. You can adjust things here a bit if you want, but I like to just grab this, just click it once, and then. I want to try to find the best place in here. Now that made me invisible, so I'll do it again here. Click it here. Make sure we get green over here on the video side. I'm just looking for the green that will reference the largest portion of this because we're going to have to do some cleanup. Okay, that's all right. As you can see, though, it's kind of a dirty key. So we can see all of this fuzz coming through. All right, but we can fix that here with Spectromat. So let's go in here and we can show our alpha. Preferably what we would want is all of this black to be completely black and all the white to be completely white. That's what we're kind of what we're shooting for there. So let's start adjusting things. Our spectrograph brightness that controls this behind here. All right. So what we want here is our chroma control, our tolerance level. Let's go and jack that up a bit. Move this around. Yeah, it's looking a little better already. Move a bit more. Our key line saturation. Again, you kind of got to play with these to see what's going to work best. Now all the way down. And then our key saturation. Move that down. Now the inner softness can definitely help out, but if we take it too far, you can see I start to erode. By the way, we can zoom in here if that will help you out uh, when you're editing with your effects. Let's go ahead and take that back down. It helps out a little bit, but we don't want too much. So let's pop in a little, and then we'll take the outer softness and we can pull that down or up. We want to pull it down a bit. All right. So now it's already looking a whole lot better. See, it's not near as fuzzy or fizzy around here. We have opacity control. That's good for doing like effects if you just want, you know, see through. Uh, subject there. Pretty cool. But we don't. We want this all the way up. Alpha offset. Just mess around with those till you get them about where you want them. Now our Luma curve, enable or not, we don't really need it. Suppress shadow will help us out here. But again, you go too far. You see how my blacks start being degraded. So I'll pull that down. I'm going to pull it up just a bit. 
Okay. Now down to your map processing. This will be very helpful. I like to leave it on a road. It's on blur. I'll just show you what happens. You can see it's blurry there. If we go to dilate, that's what happens. But I like it on a road. We'll just erode it a bit. Just a bit. That's pretty good there. We're losing some of the blacks down here. So on the suppressed shadow, I'm going to pull it back a little bit. All right. We have our spill angle offset. You can see how that starts turning me pink there. So I go further and further. I do want to jack it up a little bit. And then our spill saturation, which about there is fine. Now we have things like scaling, which I'm going to fix the aspect ratio. I might go up one or two. I'm just using the keyboard there. All right. And then position and crop. All right. So that's the basics of how you key something out using Spectromat here in Avid Media Composer. But before we go, I also want to mention down here, you see this little 3D icon. We can promote this to a 3D warp Spectromat. As you can see down here, we have our road, our background color, and we can actually do something pretty cool like this. All right. So we'll go here to this gain. And right now it's on this gray replace color. And now your subject is completely black and white on top of a color background there. Pretty cool. And there's a lot more you can do in here, of course. We could uh, change this to any color you want. All right. But gray is pretty cool. All right. Of course, we can turn that off as well. Turn down the gain. Okay, so definitely mess around with the 3D warp version as well. Uh, it's got a few more options. Like maybe I want our uh, subject on the other side of the screen. And we can do that real easily here with rotation. Just take your Y down to like minus 180. All right, now we're on the other side. Pretty cool. And of course, you know, your background can be anything at all. It doesn't have to be something that even makes sense to be honest with you. So we'll just get rid of it. And we still have our gunshot right there. We still have that. So let's just grab something else. It can be anything at all. We can pop that in. Let's pop in something different. So yeah, something from outer space. There you go. Pretty cool. Then I'd probably come in here actually. And some defocus might be cool on this. A bit there. And then turn this up to black and white. That's pretty cool. And then we could, uh, of course, put in our muzzle flash, which is what we're going to do in the next video. In the next video, we'll add a realistic muzzle flash using alpha channels, alpha channel clips, and add them right to our gunshot so it looks a little more realistic. Okay, but that is how you use Spectromat to key out a video shot in front of a green screen and it doesn't have to be green specifically it you know blue is also a color that's used quite a bit but whatever color you use uh, you know pop in there to spectromat you saw i had a ton of controls and be sure to check out the uh promote to 3d that's pretty cool as well pop in a fish let's put ourselves underwater there for no reason you can do a lot of cool stuff using green screens and spectromat here in avid media composer